buddies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome finally to Outlast 2! I've been so excited about this game. I played the original Outlast on the channel uh, when that came out and I'm, I'm proud of that series. I'm proud of how that turned out. It's one of my favorite series on the channel just because, I don't know, it was a fun game. Some fun scares in there, some fun spooks and I, I'm proud of the commentary I put over that game. When we did the whole thing, then I did the Whistleblower DLC, which, by the way, sorry if some of the stuff from those games carries over into this or there's like Easter eggs or hints or references or something to it It's been a while and I I don't remember the story completely 100% perfectly so Some stuff might go over my head, but that's what you guys are here for to theorize in the comments all the time Um, but I'm really looking forward to this. I played the demo as well and I uploaded that in the channel And that was really good and I like the scenario and the location that this takes place in so I, I really have high hopes for this I really think it's gonna be good and Red Barrels who make the game are really good and nice developers, I met them at PAX and they, they, they have a passion for this kind of thing, they have a passion for horror games and I, I respect that and I, I think they're gonna do a good job with this I hope it scares me, I turned off like more of the lights around here so it's kinda darker a small bit, just so we can get spooked and we can get into the little scenario, it says continue but I don't have a continue I just clicked in to see if the, the game ran well um, Outlast 2 contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. I will. That might as well just say, this game contains awesome shit. Let's do this. <laughs> Lynn Langerman is an investigative journalist seeking the answers behind a pregnant woman murdered under impossible circumstances in rural Arizona. What constitutes as impossible? You are Blake Langerman, her husband, assistant, and cameraman. Record everything. Neither of you are fighters. To navigate the horrors waiting for you in the desert, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Um, less of the last one, please. And the creatures... Please, Blake. Where are you? I'm scared. He's coming. <laughs> Jesus, Blake, are you really sleeping? I'm awake. You should have slept. <laughs> I'm a Blake. <laughs> well, I had to get that hospital footage organized. You were calling out some other woman's name. What? In your sleep, Jessica, I think. You know a Jessica? Oh, uh, no, no. I mean, I was dreaming about Jessica Gray from when we were kids. Oh yeah, I, I haven't thought about her in ages. Hey, we're crossing into reservation land now. You said I'm looking for some sort of factory? Jurassic yeah. Park. <laughs> we can look, but there's nothing out here. It does look pretty empty. All the mercury in that woman's blood, she had to have spent at least a decade downstream from some pretty heavy industry. If you say so, man, you bought the time. We should record an intro while we're up here. Production value? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Top of the morning, you ladies! <laughs> I would love if they did that. I mean, why would they, but... Thing on. Audio's gonna be crap. We'll have to... Whoa! What the oh fuck? God. Fuck! Sorry about that. The panel's a little soft, but, uh, well, we're good! Huh, that was exciting. What does that mean? Get as much of the landscape behind me as you can. You got me? Yeah, we're good. Hum, hum. <laughs> red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. This is a good angle. Have a soup pie. Have a soup pie. Okay. I'm Lynn Langerman, here for Newstomorrow.net. We're flying past the Havasupai Indian Reservation in central Arizona in search of the origins of murder victims. Hey, Lynn, Joe. Um, I don't think you should say murdered. <laughs> we don't know that. Oh, I'll say she strangled herself to death. That's what the police report says. We may play this before the doctor interviews. If this falls on the first 30, we need to get the word murder in there. We should probably mention the fetus, too. I mean... No! Here, let me try a version that can serve as an intro for the whole piece. Tell me when we're good. Okay. We're good. Two weeks ago, a young woman was found wandering, barefoot, pregnant, and alone on a barren stretch of highway a hundred miles from the nearest... Oh! We lost the engine! Fuck! What the oh. fuck was that?! Oh, oh no!
Solid! Solid intro! That, that's your piece! Just record that! That's a humdinger! What? Ooh, that's pretty. Do I have a camera? Anything? Okay. Jesus, I'm gonna walk towards you, okay? Be cool. Oh no, I already hate this. <laughs> to Jessica. Who even is Jessica? Is Jessica gonna be like the ring girl in this whole thing? Hello? Must be choir practice in this room. <laughs> Jesus, be cool, homie. Who am I, by the way? I'm walking very... I'm taking, like, very quick steps, like I have short legs. <laughs> I don't like this. What am I doing here at ten past six? It's way past my bedtime. <laughs> Could you stop that? Oh, this actually has stuff on it. Okay, thanks. No! Calm down. Oh, Jesus! Well, that was some shining level shit. Except that was one girl, not twins. Uh, uh, oh, I have like shivers down my back now. Okay. That's not good. Fuck! Lynn? Lynn? Oh, you can review footage! I'm Lynn Langerman. That's cool! So, I mean, I don't know why. So can I just record footage then? Use battery. Oh! So they've changed a lot of shit. Now you press tab to see your thing. You can go into your camera. And then you can use bandages and batteries down here. Okay, how much battery do I have? I don't know. Okay, that's cool. I like that. How do I get down? Oh, just fall. <laughs> Take it easy there, Blake. <laughs> it's super pretty. And I like this location, the kind of canyons and woods and forests kind of stuff. Oh, don't look down. Don't look down. Shrek! I'm looking down! <sighs> when the recording sign blinks, it means you are aiming correctly at a recording event. Aim at the event until the red circle is full to successfully capture the moment. Okay, that I really like. Because now it's actually having a reason for the camera, like you're actually documenting some things. In the other game, it was just you had the camera to kind of just look through for a cool filter, and then you had oh, night vision shit. mode. Jesus. Is... 
No, there's no bodies. She's not in here. Lynn! Yeah, I think you'd smell Lynn! that as well. Ooh, bandage. Cool. Okay. Oh, into the darkness. I really don't like the darkness, dude. Oh, oh fuck me. Fuck, 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 fuck. What that? Did not happen in the crash. Fuck this. Lynn. That's kind of fucked up and gross and weird. Okay, could you record this a bit faster, please? Uh, there's all flies all over him. Okay, cool. Sorry, dude. I've watched enough scary things to know that shit's gonna go down somewhere here. Oh, why do I- why am I able to look back? Oh, that's- I hate that when you're able to run and look back and see what's behind you chasing you and then you see how close it actually is. It's gonna give me the heebies. And I don't want them because I got the jeebies yesterday and I don't want all of it. The town. Oh, thank God. I thought miles from anything. Okay, this is where the demo started. That is fucking cool looking. Look at this. What's up, bro? This kind of stuff I really like. Okay, those are some unnaturally strong winds. Hello? I'm lost and hurt. Okay, it's jammed. That's fine. Stop it! Oh god, it's super fucking dark! I mean, I get it, that's the point. Is anybody there? Please! But I feel like it shouldn't be this dark. Hey. Hey, man. Oh shit. Oh shit, you're... Oh, oh, you're talking to him. I was like, I thought something came in behind me. Jesus. You're around everywhere. This is your fault, isn't it? Oh, you got messed up. You can look around with and zoom. Okay. Dear sweet Ellie, I can't bear what we've what we done, nor being apart from our little ones. So I'm going over and hoping you forgive me for leaving you behind. And God forgives me this last trespass. I know that they had to be offered up, but I'm all tore up inside and can't live no more. Hopefully the end will come soon and we can be together again. Unless God burns me forever for this sin. Until then, I hope you find what woman's comfort you need in the arms of Papa Noth. Yours forever. Did you kill yourself? Dude. I thought I heard footsteps. Oh, Jesus! Nope, nope, nope. Uh, creepy, freaky babies. Oh, hi! Who's... This is the thing, I've played this already, but... I, I forgot! Okay, I might have to turn up the brightness a small bit. The lighting is very, very nice. Just so we can see, because now I can't see anything in these sections. L let me just see for a sec. Uh, graphics. Gamma. Oh god, it doesn't even change all that much. Ah, oh, it's just this dark anyway. Well. Hi. It's so creepy! 
Just slinking back into the shadows like that. Ugh. Take the pitchfork though, you might need it. Because I don't know about you, but if I was in this situation, well first off I wouldn't be. And I'd be out already, but my spidey senses would be going... <gasps> Pretty crazy right now, what the- what am I doing? It said hide, so I just hid. Okay. That's not good. Hello? Oh god. <laughs> Righty. Bandages. Very nice. I'm gonna just close this so nobody can sneak up on me and I have a sense of comfort. Do I have a way of just like clicking something to read without the... Right, whatever. Dear Father, our loving God continues to bless me with visions and I know more certain than ever that the enemy is nearer with every day. I was scrubbing the stains from the floor of Daniel's room when the blessed music rose inside me and sank me into true sight where I saw a creature like the burning sun but with inward rings upon- well, of teeth upon teeth and dangling beneath limbs that I took to be arms but were cocks that rose in childing purpose and as this monstrous sun descended it fucked the earth and birthed me some great and slouching horror from the fire. This person has a damn good way with words. I was filled with the same fear, so great that I could not breathe nor move and saw myself all those years back blinding Daniel with the lie and... lie? And tried to weep but could not and when I woke I found myself wet with lusting, painfully desirous to feel a man inside me and the feeling was not so far different from the fear. I tried to comfort myself with your teachings. Terror is as joy in the movement of God. But I would take greater comfort with your manhood inside me and a firm prayer that the Antichrist would be uh, Antichrist be strangled in my womb, the most faithful of your flock in holy longing. Lisa. Well, Lisa, that was quite vivid, but I'm glad you shared. Okay, I don't want to fucking hide in here. It's good to know. Okay. I'll change batteries when I'm good and ready so I don't waste potential in them. Like I use up all their max potential. Okay, maybe now. <laughs> fucking batteries. You think by now you'd get some Duracell or something? That's... Oh, that's fucked up. So they're sacrificing kids. Well, according to what the dude wrote. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Fuck. That happened to me in the freaking demo as well. God damn it. Mmm. Some nice chicken wings and some corn. We having us a pizza hut night. Okay, I don't know if I want to go out there. Anything? Ugh, hi. Why? Why did I try that? I knew that wasn't gonna open. So your your battery gets used up when you're using night vision. Doing this doesn't use up battery. Or at least it didn't in the original. So... I try to use night vision as least as I can. Are you with me so far? Are you getting spooked? You better be strong for me! Cause I'm gonna need it soon. I'm the one playing the damn game. Uh, just run. Just run. Satanus 
Satan imitates God. I don't know. I don't know what it means. Yep, here's the crib. Ah, oh, that's a cool mask. I want a mask like that in real life. So, are we gonna have the Antichrist in this game? Midwife's Lament. The babe is coming, ready the knife. The babe is coming, knight's midwife. Mother to the enemy, stained within. God's creation, saved with sin. Hallelujah, stay the storm. No longer must we wait. For come the dawn, the enemy born to die in Temple Gate. The babe is growing, her belly swells. The babe is growing, sent from hell. Ezekiel waits, a sharpening his blade. Gather at the gate, we kneel and pray. And then we go back to the chorus, you know, death, doom, destruction. Don't bore us, get to the chorus, you know? And then we have the cross of babies. And these are real. These aren't dolls. These are like burned children. Hence, the jerry can. God. That's a good sound of crushed babies. Okay. Gonna have to call a big no Perino on all of this. Do I have to crawl under this? Oh! Now you can crouch and you can crawl. That's kind of cool. Why am I not picking up sound on the left, though? In the book of life of the Lamb slain. Hello? I would be picking up something like this. I'd be picking up some sort of bludgeon. Okay, do this now before we go anywhere. It's fucking easier to see without the night vision. If any man has an ear, he's a leader in captivity. Oh, that's a fresh, freshly put out fire. Oh, hi! What the fuck are you? You're the- you're the cross person! No! And I don't mean cross as in angry! Oh shit, where can I go? They have like the big, like, cross pickaxe. In the demo they chopped off my balls. And I do not want a repeat of that. Where'd he go? Show your face now! Or don't! I'd much rather if you didn't, but if you have to, show it now so I can figure out what's going on. Did they go? Okay, I'm just- I'ma just keep on crawling. I think they're gone. Okay, indoors, yes. The music is so freaky! Can't carry any more bandages. Okay, can I use one? Find Lin. Nothing matters but Lin. No, I can't. Okay. Jam it! Jimmy jammed. Okay, more batteries are always good. How many batteries do I have? Look at on them little bats. Don't be outside the door. Don't be outside the door. Uh, 
I am not being instilled with confidence right now. Okay, okay, where? Where? Oh, Jesus! No, 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 no. Fuck you! Oh, God. This game doesn't fuck around. Ooh. I like how it's much more interactive now. Like, there's a lot more things to push and pull and... <clears throat> Maybe this is bad. Why do I have to be someone who doesn't fight back? I'm gonna just go up and like a pickaxe. Well, they have a pickaxe. Something else then. Oh, Jesus! Oh no, my glasses! God. Oh, Jesus! Who? Oh. Then you'll have. What the fuck? God wants me dead? Okay. They have like a pickaxe with an incense burner or something on the top of it. God wants me dead? Ah, okay, cool. <laughs> See ya. Anything to pick up? I'm looking for secrets. Okay, we good. We good. We have our first scares over. We're good. We're solid. We're fine. Nobody's gonna harm us. He says, nervously, as he rounds a corner and gets stabbed in the face. Your camera is equipped with a microphone. Place V. Oh, now that's good. That's very cool. Wait, are they coming in here? Get under! Fuck's sake. Are they, are they gonna come in here? That's a very cool mechanic. So if you're like, if your vision's obscured, you can use your microphone to actually see where they are. That's awesome. No, I wanna like. Oh, it opens this way. Oh, hi! You- you good? He- he sees me. There's- there's no avoiding that. What's he saying? Can we hear him? He has bled. you in Ezekiel's blood. Okay, you sound like a fun family kind of guy. I have a feeling I just have to run because, I mean, he's looking right at me. I'm just hiding these plants. Everything will be fine. I know you see me, but uh oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh shit, this sucks. Shall we turn? Now I have to try and figure out where they are audibly and avoid it that way and not run into them in the grass or anything. Oh, fuck. Well, this is gonna be tough. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Especially since I can't see anything without night vision and to be able to hear them I use up a bunch of my mic as well. 
I have no idea where I'm going. That's a very cool mechanic though. I know I said it already, but I didn't know that that was going to be in the game. That's really cool. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where the exit is. Oh, this is risky. This is risky business. Okay, maybe not. Am I okay? Did I make it? Am I fine? This doesn't help me! This does. No! Fuck. Okay, that's him occupied for a little minute. No, oh, fuck you. I'm gonna run out of batteries, man. Is out. Where is where is sanctuary? Where am I safe? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, maybe back this way somewhere. What's with that guy singing? Maybe if I go this way. And I like that it has a left and a right channel, so you can kind of see if it's going towards you or away from you or whatever. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. It might be breaking for a time! Oh, I'm still alive! I'm still fine! I'm good! I'm good! Change that fucking battery! Change the battery! Go oh, no! No! What the fuck? What? The fuck was that? Oh, oh no, Daddy! What's happening? Daddy, help! Fire! Lamp still, Daddy! Please! Daddy! Okay, help. okay. Daddy, I am oh fucking out of here. Okay, I got a picture of it. I think. No, no, no! What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Wrong button! Wrong button! Do you hate this world? Okay, I think those guys are fucked anyway. Can I- can I read that thing? Find Lin. Nothing matters but Lin. Oh, and your camera actually acts as a snapshot of it. My love, please try to be strong as you can. Papa tells us at every service that God remembers us our sins in our dreams. And we gotta face our sins if we wanna get right with God. If the visions are getting worse, and the dreams are in our waking eyes, it just means that the tribulations are coming closer, and that'll be hard. But there's paradise on the other side. God loves us, and don't never give us more than we can handle. Yours always, Philip. Okay. But it's Lynn's voice! Is it coming out through that? What the fuck? This is gorgeous. I wonder will it actually pick it up. Yep, that's cool. The audio. What the fuck is going on? This is some weird, like, cult shit. What the hell is that big giant beam that always goes off, though? I can't go through. What the fuck? 
Now the... Oh, okay, I can't fucking read that. It's just a gospel anyway. No, I don't want to do that. Put that down. I keep forgetting all my buttons. Is this the, the priest? That keeps talking? <gasps> a broom! We'll just fly like Harry Potter and we'll get it- we'll get Lynn out of here. Oh god, yes. Down into the dark. That's- that's good. That's- that's a good idea. This is really good so far. No, thank you. God, there's a bunch of people here. Oh, you do. Oh, I don't know if this is a good idea to go down there. There's people upstairs. Hello? Oh, I think I'm actually looking up someone's dress. That's not good. Hello? Oh, you've been dead a while. Paul, as you got Papa Noth's ear, I'm asking that you tell him a worrisome story that I hope is only my fears and nothing factual. The chief among his deacons- actually, I should- you know what I should do? Oh, I can read it anyway. I was gonna say I should look at the snapshot, because that was, uh, night vision. The chief among his deacons, Val, came to me before sunrise this morning with an offer that was not fully described. Val acted like somebody offering something secret and sexual in nature. But by my knowledge of Val and his character, it frightened me terribly, and it would not- and I would not accept any such invitation. Val would not further explain and told me that there are places in our hearts Papa Noth cannot reach. Though truth be told, Val seemed more interested in other areas of my body. I asked Val to return this evening once I had a chance to think it over, but I'm- But it o is only so that Noth may send some men to firm- a firm character to secretly witness what I suspect is blasphemy and betrayal and cut it off before any harm is done. I hope Papa can help, as I'm dreadful scared. Ruth. What the fuck? <clears throat> this whole place is fucked up. Clearly. Can I go over that? Ooh, key. What that means? Head to me, Lord. Please! I don't need to know the way. Only to Flashlight! Know that you do. I... Really, you're gonna keep with the fucking night vision and not actually just pick up a flashlight? What are you guys doing up there? Can, can I pull these or something? How do we get over there? Oh. Are these psycho- oh, Jesus Christ! Get off me, you freaky fucking weirdo! Nope, nope, nope. You had your chance. I was gonna save you, dude. I was gonna come back for you, but not now. Fuck. Are they sacrificing Lin? Batteries, the fucking lifeblood and essence of my character. Jammed. Oh, that was the door. Okay, I need to get a peek at what's going on and what that gigantic white light is. Okay, this is more shit like that that I can't read. It's like scripture. Of course it's fucking jammed. Okay, I can't see anything. God damn it. It's like they're all around a pit looking in at something. Those are bad.
that sounds. Man! She got away! You okay? Okay, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. <coughs> Lynn! Lynn, Lynn, Lynn! I'm here! Yes! Oh god, Blake. Are you okay? No. What the fuck? I don't know. Oh shit. Uh, we have to run. And to the outside. Okay, okay. I'm with you on that one. This is the first smart thing I've heard in this game so far. Yeah, you know, we have a buddy! Lynn, where are we going? Away from here. Anywhere but here. Okay. Oh, they're holding hands. Ah! Oh, God! Oh, what is it? My stomach! Uh oh. It hurts. Something's wrong. Fuck! They put a demon baby in her. Oh, if I know anything about supernatural birthing, is that the gestation period is quite short and quite explosive. I stop. I just. I need. Christ, Lynn! What's happening here? I thought you were dead. When you fell, I thought we were all dead. It's okay. I'm here. We're gonna get out of here, okay? God. What did they do to you? I, I can't talk about it. Children, I have no grave by your Please don't ask me. This evening, after all these They're years, coming. After all They're all coming. Suffering, our faith has been proven. A woman who came to Temple Gate this day from the outside world. Oh God! What did you do? We've been away all this time. He has a child. What? I performed this examination myself. And he's insane. They're all fucking insane. Yep, that part I got. Please, Blake, I just want to get out of here. And she is among us. What the fuck is going on? I can't. Not now. Let's just get away from this place. Kill them. Okay. Soak the earth with their blood. Rip the devil from her belly and crush it beneath your boat hands. Oh God. Revelation. Jesus. Stay back. We'll be jumped off. Swear to fucking Christ, the first person who touches me loses their eyes. Jesus, Lynn! No! No! Fuck! Lynn! wants the child. Get off me! Get off me! God wants Lynn! Lynn! No, you... No! No! Don't do it! Motherfuckers! Get off me! You leave her alone! Leave her alone! Lynn! Lynn! Fuck you! Here it is! The fuck were those? Ooh, what is going on? I've watched my father fuck your god to death. Lynn! 
Is she gone? Jesus. Jesus, God. Fuck were they? Called them heretics. Yeah. They called Lynn mother. It is not just a cult. It's, it's two sides. Christians and something else. Really? You're gonna just throw out the exposition like that? Just beat us over the head with it? I think I could have figured that shit out on my own. Wait, is this the way we came or the way we're going? Oh god, it's fucking neither, hopefully. <laughs> is there anywhere I can fucking hide down there? Okay, I'm going this way. I don't like that way anyway. That, that was the bad way. That place sucked. They didn't even have pizza down there. Okay, battery. Go towards the batteries. Man, the levels are cool! This is some like Resident Evil 4 type of shit, and I love Resident Evil 4. Oh god, this is- ah. Oh. oh god, I'm fucking blind. The tension is too much, man. Okay, they don't see me, they don't see me, they don't see me. Do I have to go under? Shh, 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 shh. It's fine. It's fine. It's still fine. It's still fine. You don't know anything. God, I am not moving fast. Constant hiding back and forth is gonna give me a fucking heart attack. It's awesome though! Like you're not just running and hiding in a room anymore, you're actually like hiding in the bushes and the water and everything. That's cool. Nope, nope, you don't know me. You don't see me. You don't know where I am. God, where do I go now? Okay, go. Yeah, check down there. Go down that one. Or don't. Fucking asshole. You wanna come play in the water? If you do, only one of us is getting out. And I'm a great swimmer. Oh, that's creepy. I don't like these guys. These guys suck. Okay, get up. Get up and out. What the fuck is that?! Oh, Christ. Oh, no. Okay. What the hell? I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. I'm worried about my fucking mind. So is Jessica the girl we saw at the start then? The school girl? Because we're in school, and he said, remember from our young days? I don't know, but haunted school has kind of freaked me out. Ever since playing Fear 2. Jesus is everywhere in this. What would Jesus do? I don't know, man. I don't know if I'd trust a guy like that. Just seems to be everywhere all the time. I'm sorry I have to do this. You should have loved me. You should have helped me. Jesus, forgive me. I don't know what to do. I'm so sorry. Jessica. I'm sorry I have to do this. You should have loved me. You should have helped me. Jesus, forgive me. I don't know what to do. I'm so, so sorry, Jessica. Where's the music coming from? I remember this. Jessica. And Lynn. Is that me? When we were... Oh, fuck. Back in the fourth grade. <laughs> Here I thought this couldn't get any worse. <laughs> Dude, it'll be fine. Just pick up a tuba and start playing away. Or a little saxophone. We will play our pain away. But what about this way? 
that's not a way. That's why. Oh, Jesus. See, this kind of shit is just fucking freaky. I don't like it. Because... I think why it, why it freaks me out is because you're so used to school being like a hustle and bustle place and every time you're there, your friends are there. And people you know and people you trust and school is supposed to feel like a safe place. It doesn't always, but... That's what it's supposed to be, a place of learning, a place of joy and friends and... Class and learning and all that kind of stuff. But then when you're here after hours, it's kind of freaky. Oh god, 10 to 2, I'm late for class. I'm late for biology. Hi. You were here before. And look, of course Jesus is hanging out again. You come here, you bastard. Oh god, oh god, okay, okay, I take it back. Why didn't you treat me with a little bit of... Respect. I didn't enjoy that at all. You're not going to do it again, are you? Respect. Kindness. All of the... Words that I am not receiving right now. Catholic school, the way to success. And there's Jesus again! He's fucking everywhere. Jesus is the real cause. That's what it's going to be. This whole game is about the second coming. Jesus is just going to show up and be like, Hello! Remember me? Yeah, you guys fucked me up last time I came down. So it's revenge time. There's nothing in here. Why am I in here? Restricted area. Authorized personnel only. Okay. Batteries. Okay, I'm gonna just move you. Thanks. Can I pick up the remote? Come on, I wanna watch some Beavis and Butthead. Okay, turn it off! Okay. I don't want the grudge coming after me, or the Ringu. Seven days. Tolerance! You hear that, everybody? Tolerance! It's snowing. <sighs> okay. Ooh, yes. Lots of batteries. Make me happy. Hey! What would Jesus do? What would you do in this scenario? Can I leave? Ah, oh, that's a bad sign. With Carrie through here. Okay, it's just the men's. I'm allowed in here. That's fine. I need to take a leak. This is where all the scares should happen. Where you're close to a toilet so you can change your pants. Okay. I hate... I hate bathrooms and games as well. Bathrooms and horror games are like a surefire sign to walk in and the cubicles are all closed. And then it's just like, oh, nothing in the first three, but the last one, boo! Okay, I'm taking my time as well. Confidence. This is one I do have right now. Confidence. Not in myself. Um. But just confidence that the situation will get a whole lot worse before it gets better. Here we go. Here we go. Am I leaving footprints? Yeah! That's the first thing I check in a video game whenever I walk out in snow, is to see if I leave footprints. Because to me then, that means that the game is awesome. Oh, and they have depth footprints! We got some tessellation going on? Nice! Oh god. Out of the frying pan and into the freezer. Where am I going? This is Silent Hill all over again. What? Oh my back! Am I back in the desert again? 
<laughs> You're him, ain't you? The outsider. Who's asking? Oh, saw they killed you, didn't they? No. <laughs> Not yet. Well, they'll do it if they find you out here. Come on. Who are you? My name's Ethan. What do you mean? Are you one of them? And which side are you on? I mean, why ain't I trying to kill you? <laughs> yeah, that one. I've been unborn. Seen too much to keep the faith. But you're not one of those other ones. The, the, the heretics. Didn't say squat when my wife got skull. Had to get cast out. Didn't complain when nah. Pressed himself on my Anna Lee. And she not but 15. Okay, that's so fucked up. But when he said my grandson, baby he put in her, was my the Antichrist, and I had to slit her belly and kill the child. Yeah, that'll drive you kind of crazy. Can I have my vision back, please? Okay, there we go. Finally. Jesus. Oh, that's pretty. Starry, starry night. Paint your palette blue and gray. Lead on, Ethan. Dude, can we play some sick banjo? I gave her a chance to run. Spun them idiots some stories. I've been gifted with talk my whole life. You probably noticed. Jane Doe. Sorry. Your daughter. She was eight months pregnant. Blonde hair cut like a boy's. Yeah. What do you know? You seen her? It's why we came here. Is she all right? Please. Mister. Just tell me she's okay. She's fine. Oh, 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 thank God. Oh, thank God. And God bless you. Come on. I'll get you inside. But she's dead. Blake. Ooh. Oh, oh, hey, hey there. You really busted your head open, didn't you? Uh, I'll be okay. Yep. I... As you head down the road, so I'll head down there. You can hide. Get your fix up. Can I have a beer? You know, some whiskey would really ease the pain of getting hit in the head. You know? Okay, fine. But you, you better not be lying. It's alright. You just relax here, I'll keep you safe. You rest up and heal. Ethan's gonna treat you right. Thank you, Ethan. I appreciate it. Can I use a, one of the bandages I have yet? No, I can't even tell. Okay, sleep. Oh, I might be having me some rough dreams tonight. I don't know if you should really go to sleep that soon after having such a serious head wound. Or like your vision's all dizzy and everything if you have a concussion. That could be very bad. Please, Blake. Where are you? I'm scared. It's the same thing again. He's coming. Mm. <laughs> He's here! Ah! Get away! Ah! I don't like that one. I ain't had nothing. Righteousness cannot pass in blood by loins, but the blood of your heart. I came Papa's gospel. I copied him a hundred times. If I knew where the outsider was, the prophet don't need your help in finding the devil's whore and interrupt me. Not questions even now, other heretics at chapel. God will guide. I ain't a heretic. Oh, God! No, don't hurt him. Be my friend. You sin when you deny the prophet your daughter. You sin since to the night. Please, please just let me talk to now. No! no. The outsider is. No! His seed begat the enemy. God and the prophet both want. Just let me talk to now. I can explain. God don't hear dead men. Be still. Oh, Ethan, I'm sorry. 
take your penance. God loves you. God loves you. That's fucked up. Where'd they go? I hope you find your daughter. Yeah, because his daughter's dead as well. Dude. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this first episode of Outlast 2 here. What a start, man. It's really good. I really like it. There's a strong atmosphere already. Um... I was a bit worried about the game when it was announced and when I played the demo and everything because there was a lot of that, like, stuff happened and then you teleported to, like, a school and then you teleported back and when there's that juxtaposition and it, it happens too much, it kind of ruins some of the atmosphere of horror games for me. Um, because the first game just took place in an asylum and when it's all self-contained in one area, it felt very, very good. It felt like one big, open asylum that you were going through and it felt very... I don't know, it was very immersive because the atmosphere was very consistent with itself. And I was worried that this would kind of go against that because it was out in the woods and it wasn't as self-contained and... Obviously they couldn't just do the same thing again. If they did, it would have been a bad idea too. Um, but they really nailed this. So far, anyway. And I really like that... I I'm a fan of those kind of movies with like cults in the woods. Because they're just creepy. It's like stuff that's kind of... If you like live in a city and then you go out into the woods, it's kind of like a foreign place. Doesn't even feel like you're on Earth half the time. And the the teleporting to the school and everything, it kind of worked. So that, that's really cool. Um, I, I haven't been, like, super spooked yet. It's just, it's a lot of, like, tension kind of scares. And a lot of gore. And a lot of kind of really crude imagery, which is a type of horror as well. I'm not trying to say it's not a scary game. It's just, it's a different type of scary. And I kind of like that. Kind of glad they didn't try and go for the whole... I don't know. I don't even know what kind of scares. So far, there's only been a, a couple of jump scares. Um, I hope the game doesn't rely too heavily on those, because those get very cheap very quickly. Um, but I, I really like the atmosphere that it's setting up in the scenario and the... It kind of brings... It kind of harkens back. It's kind of doing what Outlast 1 did, but in a different environment. And with kind of different rules. Like, it, it, the first Outlast had a priest in it as well. And some stuff... It, like some supernatural stuff was kind of going on in the background. So I'm glad they kind of took that and kind of ramped it up a small bit without making it super goofy. So, well done so far. I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this series. I'm excited to get it going. I really hope you guys enjoy watching it. I have a feeling everyone on YouTube is going to be playing it right now. But it's cool. Um, I'm really excited for this game. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a boss! And... Like face all row. Whoosh! Whoosh! Thank you guys, I will see all you dudes! The next video! Very strong first episode. Lots of blood and guts. I like it.